Hey everybody, Game Maniac here. Back to do another little video. Um, I got a few pickups in if you've watched any of my unboxings lately. Um, so I just want to do a, a real video for it. Um, sorry if this lighting isn't the greatest. Uh, it's starting to get a little dark outside and I just don't have a good light in this room, really. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to get through this before it does actually get dark and you won't be able to see me at all. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through a uh, couple pickups. There's actually a, uh, a pickup in here that uh, you haven't seen. So, uh, But if you watched my last update video, you'll know kind of what it is. Um, uh, so yeah, with that, let's come in some video, yo. Um, so, first we'll go through the ones that you already know. Um, we'll start with DVDs, because that's easy. Alright, so... I actually just did this unboxing video if you've been watching, um, but that is, I've been interested in this, to watch this series for a little while now, um, but I finally picked them up because they're only like, I think they were like 20 bucks a piece. Um, so basically it's a, each one of these has 20 episodes on it, and uh, so basically I'm paying a dollar an episode, it's not too bad. So with that, that is Avatar, The Last Airbender, book one, The Complete Collection. And I got books one and two. It's both of them. So back this one. Probably won't be able to make it out too well with the lighting, but uh, you can definitely still see it. So yeah, I'm very interested in watching these. I haven't really watched too much of it, so I'm gonna find out if it's really any good or not. Um, so. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. I like animation, and this seems like an anime, really. <laughs> Only it's done, you know, over in the West. But, uh, yeah, I should enjoy that and uh, be cool as well. So, that's those. Always lots of cool stuff to watch. Gotta love that. Um, next, we'll go with video games. The rest of these are video games. So, first, the one that you probably already know about, and that is The Conduit 2. A first-person shooter for the Nintendo Wii. Sequel to, obviously, The Conduit. Um, both these games kind of have mixed reviews. Um, both uh, from what well, well, from what I've seen and stuff. So, um, I like the first one. I had fun with it. Um, I still had to finish it. I still have maybe a few, few levels left in it or something. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited, really, to see how this one turns out. Apparently, it is better than the first one, even though it's still still has mixed reviews, but I'm still going to probably enjoy it and still like it. Um, I like shooters on the Wii. I think they're pretty cool. I mean, graphically, yes, they're behind the other systems, but that is just the power of the system. So, um, with that, it doesn't really matter to me. And I hear it has a pretty good uh, online multiplayer with it, but uh, I'm really more of a single player type of uh, person. Um, I like the campaigns and stuff, or uh, adventure games, so... Uh, I definitely, definitely will like the single player aspect of this and will enjoy it when I get to it. So, yeah, that's the conduit too. Who knows when I'll get to it, but I will get to it. Now next, here's another video game pickup, which you don't know I have. And that is this game I've actually, ever since the 3DS was announced, it is a 3DS game. Um, I've been looking forward to it. And it's kind of one of the reasons I even wanted a 3DS. I mean, I was wanting it anyway, but uh, this helped help the factor. And that is, I got Kid Icarus Uprising. Now, this, as you can see, is a pretty, pretty big box because, well, it comes with a stand, a little, little black stand, which uh, opens up. So, like. Uh, put it on a flat little surface like this <laughs> and you know you just set the 3DS right in there of course I'm using the 3DS as a camera right now so I can't really show you how the 3DS looks but I mean you pretty much put it in there and you uh, control with one hand stylus in the other it's very tricky controls I have played the, I played through the first level so far and uh, I actually gotta say I'm, I'm pretty li much liking it um, it's very fast paced and, and fun 
especially the fly, flying sections. It's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, the ground sections, it's going to take some getting used to a little bit with the movement aspect. Um, but uh, the only bad thing, I think, with this stand is that it kind of ruins the portability of it. But, I mean, I'm going to play it anyway with probably with the stand a little bit um, just to prevent hand cramping. Um, but yeah, once I get around and used to the controls, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of content to it, a lot of RPG elements and everything like that. Um, in regards to weapons and, uh, almost like Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It is obviously made by the same guy, but, uh, Sakurai. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, going to be probably a fun time, I think. I think the, uh, from what I hear, the single player campaign is about, uh, about 10 hours or something like that. So it'll be, uh, pretty decent. And I will enjoy it more than likely. Oh, this is the, uh, case, in case you're wondering. It's pretty much the same as this box here. But, uh, inside here. Actually, uh, they went all out and put, uh, faces and stuff on, uh, on there. And on the other side, they have it too. Uh, Palutena on the other side. So it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. And, oh, didn't want to forget about this. Um, it actually comes with, uh, AR cards. Where you can, uh, comes with just random ones, um, basically. But I've also gotten some out of some game magazines. Both Nintendo Power and Game Informer have had some uh, free ones. So I've got I've got a, a little stack here now. But uh, yeah, it's they're they're kind of cool, where you can put them down, and uh, they, if you put them next to each other, they will actually fight, which is uh, pretty interesting. I mean, it's just real simple and basic. They're just like attack, 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 attack. But uh, it's interesting to watch and kind of cool. Um, be interested to see if uh, some other game maybe takes advantage of that to like a full degree straight on RPG element like that. But uh, yeah, for what it does, it's just kind of an added bonus to the game. So it's kind of cool. So that's my uh, pickups and stuff. Um, my currently reading, watching kind of thing. Uh, I'm still reading Walking Dead Book 6. I uh, haven't read it in a, a few days, so... Uh, uh, I'm getting there though. I'm almost done with that one. And then I'm still watching Claymore. I have like maybe three episodes left. Um, I would definitely highly recommend watching that if you like uh, violence and stuff. Violence, a good story, um, anything to do with demon, demons and uh, half demon basically. Um, yeah, definitely watch Claymore. It's not that long of a series, 26 episodes, so watch it if you enjoy anime at all. Um, so, and now... I'll go on to, I finished Back to the Future, like I said before. I'm now playing, first time playing this a game in this series, and that is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the Reflex Edition for the Wii. Um, I got this game for free from somebody. Um, they didn't want it anymore, because I think they lost their Wii or something. And, uh, or it didn't work, something like that. And anyway, he was given his game, game he's like, here. You, you have a lot of games. You like games. Here, take this. And I was like, okay. Not going to pass up a free game. Especially one that's actually pretty fun. I've, uh, like I said, never played one. And uh, obviously I already know compared to the other system versions of this, this one is a dumbed down version. Just slightly. Not features wise. It actually is full featured. Uh, multiplayer and single player. It's got everything pretty much. And, but the only thing is obviously the graphics had to be dumbed down for the system. But uh, it actually has pretty actually pretty good graphics I think and uh, holds up pretty well frame rate stays good nothing choppy or anything like that um, but uh, I'm actually going through the campaign right now and uh, I don't know if I'll get into the multiplayer aspect of it um, not sure at this point um, still going through the campaign just on regular starting out and uh, I'm towards the end of act two and uh, I'm actually I haven't been stuck or anything other than uh, on one part I'm out I'm now stuck where you have to protect that fallen guy you were carrying him through the level through through the back half of the level and then like you're waiting for the tropper to land by the Ferris wheel and you have to protect him while all these enemy soldiers are coming. It's pretty intense and uh, yeah I haven't been able to pass that yet but uh, I think with practice I'll be all right. I just got to find a good good spot to uh, take out all the people. But uh, yeah I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, Negatives on it is that I'm the kind of person that likes to explore a little bit. This game 